We're here at a residential pressure vacuum breaker on an irrigation system. When you're getting ready to winterize it, the first thing you want to do is make sure that you stop the flow as best you can. So we'll go ahead and stop this first valve right here. This stops the flow from the street. And then you can take off this protector right there and open this test port. If you open that test port, it's going to get the water out. You can open this test port as well and just get the water right out of that system there. It might take a little while for that to all drip out. All right, so after 10 to 15 minutes, just whenever it stops dripping down here, you would go ahead and close this valve right here. And then remember to put the lids back on so you can find them later. Now there's still gonna be water in this section right here though. This is where it's coming from the system. So what I like to do is just take a towel and wrap it around the bottom portion of it. Like that. And that's normally enough for Northwest Florida, for our area at least, to keep it from breaking. And then I put one more towel over the top just to try to stop the wind from blowing through here. And uh, that's about what you normally do to winterize an irrigation system that has a, a uh, pressure vacuum breaker.